My name is Paul Morrison and I work for Warren Amani Architects. As a leading architectural firm in New Zealand, we concentrate on the special challenges presented by construction in our country. Let me give you some background. New Zealand is situated at the southeastern tip of what is called the Pacific Ring of Fire, and we experience volcanic eruptions and earthquakes on a regular basis, with the most regular being Mount Narahoe in 2012. So in New Zealand, earthquake resistant construction is especially important. The Christchurch earthquake in 2011 served as a dramatic reminder of this. This key challenge has made the New Zealand construction industry pioneers in earthquake resistant construction. For decades, we have been looking at new methods and translating the latest research findings into applied technology. The most important factors in constructing earthquake resistant buildings include the decoupling of the building from the ground beneath it, the construction of the structural frame, and the joints between the various parts of the building, such as facades, walls, and installations. Making buildings stronger and more rigid does not make them more resistant to earthquakes. For example, the use of flexible connections such as roller bearings or lead and rubber bearings enhances their seismic performance. The interfaces between the building's various components have to be extremely flexible. Facade and floor joints must be able to withstand compression and shearing forces so that the building does not break apart. Together with construction engineers and manufacturers of construction materials like Seeker, we are tackling the challenges of earthquake resistant construction in New Zealand and making our buildings safer in the process. I am Carl Jones of McDonald, a group of global engineering and building management consultants. We are currently working on a number of facade projects in New Zealand and earthquake resistant construction is a focus of our activities. Following the earthquake in Christchurch, our clients have developed an awareness of movement issues in relation to facades, and this is reflected in the whole of the construction industry in New Zealand. We advise our clients to look for better technologies and materials to improve earthquake resistance in construction. Highly flexible joint sealants are an important part of good solutions. We are pleased that Seeker is totally committed to the challenge posed by our performance expectations, and that they continue the development of their joint sealant technologies. Seeker supplies high performance sealant and seals for facades that satisfy performance needs with regard to seismic building movements in New Zealand.